five most horrific bridge collapses ever, construction disasters. Although bridges are among history's greatest feats of engineering, in rare cases, they have unexpectedly and catastrophically failed due to structural deficiencies, weather conditions, or too much weight. It is almost a norm for every manufactured structure at one point or the other to collapse. Such disasters, like the collapse of a building or bridge, usually claim the lives and properties of affected citizens. Worldwide, several countries have suffered more than others in terms of infrastructural collapse, particularly with bridges, which most often happens unexpectedly. Most times, when such bridge collapses are unpredictable, they not only take innocent lives, but also cause damages, amounting to the loss of a lot of money. In this video, we have for you the five most catastrophic bridge collapses ever recorded. But before we jump right in, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, kindly do so by clicking the subscribe icon below. Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates on our latest uploads. Let's get it on. Number five, Silver Bridge Collapse. Silver Bridge connected Point Pleasant, West Virginia and Gallipolis, Ohio over the Ohio River. It was a gleaming suspension bridge constructed in 1928 and painted with silver aluminum paint. On December 15, 1967, at peak rush hour, the bridge collapsed, sending 31 cars with 61 people plunging into the 44-degree waters of the river. 46 of the 64 people died in the accident. The cause of the collapse was traced to a small defect in a single eye bar, a 55-foot long section of steel, 2 inches thick and 12 inches wide, had suddenly fractured. Then, the pin holding it in place fell loose, sending the bridge's components into catastrophic failure. Silver Bridge was dubbed the gateway to the south upon its opening, and residents on both sides appreciated its promise of better commutes and easier traveling. But it also came to be known for its tendency to rock and shake. Salesman Ben Cedar crossed Silver Bridge around 15 minutes before it collapsed, but only reluctantly. I was worried about that bridge every time I crossed over, he said. If you got stuck in the middle of that bridge, it would wave back and forth, back and forth. The most alarming part of the conclusion was that there was no way for engineers or maintenance crews to have found the ruinous defect, save by taking apart the entire joint, which, since it was integral to the bridge's structural integrity, would have been merely restating the problem. The Silver Bridge collapse led to the National Bridge Inspection Standards, which require bridges with spans over 20 feet to be inspected every two years. If they are determined to be a higher risk bridge, they must continue to be examined more frequently, as often as monthly or more, until they can be repaired. Other bridges in the wake of the collapse were examined and retrofitted with better parts, and Silver Bridge's sister bridge in nearby St. Mary, West Virginia, was decommissioned shortly after in 1971. Number 4. Ponte das Barcas Bridge Collapse Ponte da Barca, a medieval bridge, was constructed at the beginning of the 16th century and renovated in 1761 and 1896 to protect the Lima River. This old bridge crosses the Lima River in the northern greenish Minho area within the boundaries of the lovely Ponte da Barca hamlet in an awe-inspiring setting of outstanding natural beauty. This bridge was significant as a stopping point on the road to Santiago de Compostela in Spain. The Carlos Amarante-designed bridge opened to traffic on August 15, 1806, and was regarded as the first bridge connecting Porto and Gaia. However, disaster struck in 1809. On the 29th of March that year, the forces of Napoleon attacked the Portuguese city of Porto. During Napoleon's second French invasion, when General Soult's army was marching on the city with the intention of destroying it, many desperate civilians tried to flee the French army by crossing the Ponte das Barcas Bridge. However, at the time, the bridge was not constructed to hold many people, and with a number of panicked people on the bridge, it collapsed. The collapse of Ponte das Barcas killed over 4,000 people, including the Portuguese and some French people. Because the collapse was resulted in the death of many people, it is known as the worst bridge collapse ever in history. More tragically, despite the bridge collapsing, some people also had to jump into the Douro River because French troops forced residents out of the city. Number 3. Minnesota I-35 West Bridge Collapse Slightly over 15 years ago, the Interstate 35 West Bridge over the Mississippi River in downtown Minneapolis collapsed sending cars, trucks, and even a school bus that were crawling over it in bumper-to-bumper -bumper rush hour traffic 
plummeting into the river below and onto the rocky shore. 13 people were killed. 145 more were injured, many of them seriously. The bridge collapse sparked immediate calls in Minnesota and across the country to invest big in repairing and replacing the nation's aging and crumbling infrastructure. A decade and a half later, experts say there have been some improvements, but there are still tens of thousands of bridges nationwide that need to be fixed or replaced. In the immediate aftermath of the 35 West Bridge collapse, the Minnesota Department of Transportation came under intense scrutiny. The Interstate Highway Bridge had been classified as structurally deficient, meaning that it was aging and in need of repair. In fact, some repair work was going on when it fell. The bridge was also rated as fracture critical, meaning the failure of just one vital component could cause the whole bridge to collapse. It is safe to say this accident was caused by a blatant case of ignorance. Number 2. Juan Gehu River Rail Bridge Collapse At 10.21 p.m. on Christmas Eve 1953, the Wellington Auckland Night Express plunged into the flooded Juan Gehu River at Tanguai, 10 kilometers west of Weoru in the central North Island. Of the 285 passengers and crew on board, 151 one died in New Zealand's worst railway accident. It was, at the time, the world's eighth deadliest rail disaster and made headlines around the globe. The nation was stunned. With New Zealand's population just over 2 million, many people had a direct relationship with someone involved in the tragedy. The place named Tangiwai means weeping waters in Maori. The timing of the accident added to the sense of tragedy. Most of those on the train were heading home for Christmas, armed with presents for friends and family. Those waiting to meet their loved ones at the various stations up the line had no sense of the tragedy unfolding on the volcanic plateau. Over the following days, searchers found many battered, mud-soaked presents, toys, and teddy bears on the banks of the Wangahoo River. For New Zealand, 1953 had been a year of significant milestones. In May, Edmund Hillary had scaled the heights of Mount Everest. On the 23rd of December, the country could barely control its excitement at the arrival of the beautiful young Queen Elizabeth II and her dashing husband, Prince Philip. All of this changed on Christmas Day, when Prime Minister Sidney Holland announced with profound regret news of the accident in a radio broadcast from the military camp at Weoru. With no newspapers published on Christmas Day, this was the first many New Zealanders heard of the tragic events of the previous evening. The weather on Christmas Eve was fine, and with little recent rain, no one suspected flooding in the Wangahoo River. When a goods train crossed the bridge around 7 p.m., the river appeared normal. What transformed the situation was the sudden release of approximately 2 million cubic meters of water from the crater lake of nearby Mount Ruepahu. A 6-meter high wave containing water, ice, mud, and rocks surged, tsunami-like, down the Wangahoo River. Sometime between 10.10 and 10.15 p.m., this lehar struck the concrete pylons of the Tanguai Railway Bridge. Traveling at approximately 65 kilometers per hour, locomotive KA-949 and its train of nine carriages and two vans reached the severely weakened bridge at 10.21 p.m. As the bridge buckled beneath its weight, the engine plunged into the river, taking all five second-class carriages with it. The force of the torrent destroyed four of these carriages. Those inside had little chance of survival. The leading first-class carriage, Car Z, teetered on the edge of the ruined bridge for a few minutes before breaking free from the remaining three carriages and toppling into the river. It rolled downstream before coming to rest on a bank as the water level fell. Remarkably, 21 of the 22 passengers in this carriage survived. Evidence suggested that the locomotive driver, Charles Parker, had applied the emergency brakes some 200 meters from the bridge, an action which prevented the last three carriages from ending up in the river and saved many lives. To this day, the tragedy remains one of the worst to ever hit New Zealand. Number 1. Yulinovsk Railway Bridge Collapse Located in Yulinovsk, Russia, the Yulinovsk Railway Bridge collapsed on the 5th of June, 1983. The bridge was opened in 1916 and was regarded as the largest railway bridge in Europe. The cause of the bridge's collapse was that it was rammed by a cruise ship called the Alexander Suvorov. On the day of the accident, the ship was sailing from Rostov to Moscow, carrying over 400 people. The ship was to pass another span of the bridge, the second one, but because it was going at maximum speed, and most of the people aboard were busy in an auction on the upper deck, no one noticed they were headed the wrong way. By the time controllers realized the ship was headed the wrong way, they tried sending a signal but did not get a response. At that moment, the span of the bridge cut through the ship's upper deck, where most of the passengers were 
but the lower deck remained undamaged. Over 170 people perished due to the collision, which also caused damage to the bridge and derailments of other cars, some of whose contents fell onto the ship. There you have it, some of the most tragic bridge-related disasters ever. If you enjoyed the video, do ensure you click on the subscribe button so that you can continue enjoying more of such content. Give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification button for timely updates of our latest uploads. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!